a term I really like that I think goes underutilized is in broad daylight. It's just got such a powerful effect and you can use it for things that don't even, you know, uh, things that aren't that important. Like I used my phone and I downloaded that app in broad daylight or I don't care. I got my Burger King. I opened up that burger and I ate it in broad daylight. I think it's something we got to bring back. You don't hear it as much, but it definitely has an impact on on people. No, I'm not bored. Why do you ask? Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com, and today we're going to take a look at multi-admin approval in Intune, and more specifically, how to use it to prevent accidental device wipes in your tenant. All right, well, I'm about to show everyone how to use multi-admin approval in broad daylight. Solving for the modern workplace. All right, so if, if we're not already familiar with multi-admin approval, let's take a quick look at it. I'm gonna go to tenant administration and I'm gonna go down to multi-admin approval. So perfectly named. And the way multi-admin approval works is you can put policies in place um, to require uh, approval from multi-admins, I guess, from multiple administrators, you know, in, in order to take the action. Right. So, so let's just take a quick look and then we'll make one. If I create an access policy, the first thing to look at is what you're protecting, right? The policy type. And this supports anything to do with apps, scripts, roles, and device actions now, like wipe, retire, and delete. And these are kind of the, you know, the, the important ones, I think. But if we were to choose app, it, it applies to, uh, editing the app, creating the app, assigning it, and you can limit the rules to apply to Windows only or non-Windows only, right? Or both. Um, in our case, we're just going to do Windows only. Um, so you go ahead and you, you set the thing you want to protect with two admins. Oh, we need a name. Protect the apps. And then what you do is you can add a group of approvers. So you would have to make a group of admins, um, into the admins that have the ability to do this. And from there, uh, you create the policy. Now, every time some action is taken on an application, it won't go by itself. It'll need the approval of multi-admins. Man, it's so on the nose. I'm not even doing that on purpose. All right, so let's take a step back and let's create our admin group. So I'm going to create a group called multi-admin approvers. Intune admins Intune admins for multi admin approval policies. Perfect. And you can have different groups for different policies. I'm going to have the same group for all of them. Um, I'm going to leave it as assigned and I'm going to select my members. So definitely myself. Um, I know I am one of these admins and let's do Clark Kemp. Okay, I don't know if Clark's an admin, but we'll make him an admin just for now, for the purposes of this. So I create the group. I have my two admins in it. Uh, let's go check out Clark's situation here. Uh, roles. He is, uh, is he an admin? Hold on, I didn't let that load. No, he's not an admin. So let's go ahead and uh, let's give him into an administrator. Clark, he got promoted. He got tired of being Superman. All right, so if I refresh this, he's now an Intune admin. Perfect. So uh, both users in the group are admins. Let's put together uh, a real policy now. So I want to do multi-admin approval and we'll do access policies. So create, we're going to call this device wipe protection because um, we don't want to wipe a device, right? That would have a bad impact on a user. I think that's something where in a lot of organizations, and I hear people struggle with this, uh, it makes sense to have multi-admins in this situation protecting this action. Okay, now by default, this applies to Windows and non-Windows, so you're not going to specify. It's just any device wipe action is going to be protected. The interesting thing here is if you take a look at this little note, um, it not only affects the action through here in the admin center, but also through the graph. So if you're automating things, you know, keep in mind um, if you have maybe some offboarding procedures or, you know, 
anything like that, they're not going to be able to be done anymore without the multi-admin approval. So just something to think about, right? But in, in most situations, that's going to be just fine. Um, so we'll add our group. What do they call it? Multi multi-admin approvers. Okay. See, I just forgot, even though I just made it. Before this resource can be created, it must be approved by another admin. So even creating this policy needs approval. Well, that's kind of the whole point, right? If I could make this without the approval of anyone else, I've essentially taken an action that has, I would say, rather serious repercussions without anyone else's approval, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of multi-admin approval. So I think it's cool that they require that be uh, uh, part of the process to even create the policy. So for justification, I'm going to put prevent accidentally wiping people's devices and I'll submit for approval and there we go so when we refresh this so I have a request that's open because I'm trying to make this so you can see I can't complete the request because it needs another approver but you can see all the details about it so let's uh, open a different browser we'll sign it as Clark Kent at rubixdev.com all right, so now I'm logged in as Clark. I can go to tenant administration and multi-admin approvals. And here we go. All requests. I can see a request right here. All right, from looking at this, I can see the request says we want to set device wipe protection um, for all platforms the, for the multi-admin approvers group. And it's to prevent accidentally wiping devices. I agree this has become a massive issue so i'm going to hit approve request and i'll refresh it and it's approved so let's go back okay so now that this has been approved i have to click on it one more time and hit complete request because now it's been created right before it was just approved to be created. So if you don't do the complete, you're, you're not gonna see it here. And I know that throws some people off. So there it is. Okay, so now we head to our Windows devices and I wanted to wipe this one, right? I go click wipe. Now notice there's an extra field here called business justification. So even if I go, you know, I can't just wipe it myself here. So I'm gonna click request for wipe, but I have to put in a justification. So I could say, this user is no longer with the organization and we have to reset the device back to factory uh, settings and I'll request for wipe. So an IT administrator must approve the action. So it's there um, and we can go check on our status of that. So if we go to tenant administration, multi-admin approval, you can see a new request is here, right? And it does need approval and it's my request and I can't, I can look at it, but I can't, you know, do anything about it. And it'll give you the actual changes here, which is kind of interesting. It's a full removal of, you know, this device here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip back to Clark. So I'm going to refresh all requests. And now we can see there's a new one here. So I'm going to click on it and it tells me exactly what's going on. So it looks like my other approver, my other approver wants to wipe the device. The user is no longer with the organization and we have to reset the device. Now, keep in mind in a production environment, this is most likely gonna be like, you'll have codes for this, like, you know, termination or, you know, or, you know device dash issue or whatever you want. I'm just giving you an example here. You can type whatever you want. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put notes and say this is approved for wipe. Okay. Okay. Approval request successfully approved. We'll hit refresh. It's approved. So now remember we have to complete the action. So to complete the action, we'll go back to Steve's side here and hit refresh and it's been approved. So I have to click on it and I have to complete the request. Device action triggered. Now when I go back to devices, we should see the wipe has been triggered. Yep, now there's a wipe pending. 
multi-admin approval is not new, but I still talk to so many folks who don't know it's there. And it's especially in, you know, larger organizations, it's really important to make sure we're not accidentally doing things and that you have this uh, tiered governance process to take, you know, I would say wiping a device is a pretty critical action. So, so eventually we're going to get into some more things, right? Building some notifications for this, using graph for that, some, some cool things. Um, but you know, in general, it's a really powerful component. So if you're not using it in Intune, I would highly recommend you start, start looking at it. Let me know in the discord, if you use it, your experience with it, questions, all that good stuff, and we'll be seeing you.